So today we're going to talk about the vertical number line and how to use it in subtraction. So here I have this problem of 13 minus 7. This is pretty common, but have you ever thought about how you could use the vertical number line in order to solve this? So my friendly number, my landmark number, is 10. So I am going to jump plus 3 up to 10 from 7. And I'm going to jump from 10 to 13, which is also a 3. So if I add those two jumps, I would come up with 6. Now what does this look like on the horizontal number line, which is what we normally use? Here we have it. We've started at the 7, we've jumped through our 10, which is our friendly number, and then we've landed on 13, which is the number that we are trying to take away from. Now we can either go forward or we can go backwards. Either way, we have two jumps of three. Let's try another one. Here's our next problem. 17 minus 9. So I'm going to jump to my landmark number, which is 10. 9 to 10 is a space of 1. 10 to 17 is a space of 7. So I know that I have 7 and 1 which gives me a difference of 8. So, here are the steps that you will need to follow in order to use a vertical number line. Number 1. Always jump to 10 in both directions. The second step. Add the jumps. Here is your problem. Remember to use these rules. 15 minus 7. 